What is up, all you worship peoples? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Nate Meist, and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And in this video, we're gonna be learning how to play on an acoustic guitar, uh, a new release by Kim Walker Smith called Boxes. Let's get into it. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if these videos are helping you, which is the goal, um, why don't you give them a like and maybe even subscribe and ring that notification bell uh, so that you don't miss future worship tutorials. All right, so we're gonna be covering three things in this video to help you learn this song on an acoustic guitar. Uh, the first thing is key and capo placement. So the key that the song was originally recorded in and the key that I'm gonna be playing it in, a, a key that is good for my voice and a few other keys that you can play it in that might be good for your voice. The second thing we'll be going over are strumming patterns. I'm gonna give you in this song actually about three to four strumming patterns that are going to cover the entire song. And I'll be breaking down those strumming patterns for you so that you know exactly what's going on. And the third and final thing are the chords. As we work our way through the song, each section, um, I'm gonna be showing you uh, all the chords that I am playing uh, using these handy dandy uh, chord diagrams. They're gonna be up in the right hand corner. And don't forget that uh, this video is segmented, so you can skip ahead to any part of the song that you would like to learn right now. All right, so this song was recorded in the key of B flat. Um, so on an acoustic guitar, typically that would mean that you would have your capo on fret number three. So one, two, three, and then you would play in what's called the G position. That is a B flat right there. And if you don't know what the G position is, I have a video explaining that. So click up above or down below in the video description to learn more about that. Um, so there are a couple other keys that we can play in um, just using our capo and kind of shifting it around and remaining in that G position using those G position chords. If we go down a half step or one fret to fret number two, playing in that same G position, now you're going to be in the key of A. Down one more half step to fret number one, now you'll be in A flat or G sharp. And take your capo off completely. And if you're playing a G position chord with standard tuning, uh, you'll be playing a G chord. <laughs> standard tuning, by the way, is E, A, D, G, B, E. Now, let's work our way up. So we were on fret number three playing in the original key of B flat using the G position. Now we'll go to fret number four and we'll be in the key of B. Go up to fret number five and you'll be in the key of C. Up to fret number six and you'll be in C sharp or D flat. And up to fret number seven and we'll be in the key that I'll be playing in, key, the key of D. <laughs> It is up there, and you know, the reason I did that is, well, to be completely honest with you, the, the key that would be best for my voice is actually the key of E, but I would have had to play this song in the C position, um, you know, with my fret, or oh, my capo on fret number four, and with the chords that they use in this song, which are very kind of peculiar chords, it just wasn't gonna work out that well. And I figured maybe, it would be more applicable for a lot of you to sing it a little bit lower in the key of D, um, and and then it would make it also easy for anybody, uh, any of you ladies out there that want to sing in the same key as Kim Walker Smith, it'd make it really easy for you just to transfer your capo down to fret number three, use the same exact, no, that's four, okay, there's fret number three, <laughs> and then use the same exact chord shapes that I'm gonna teach you in this video and be able to follow along. Uh, this also means that the chords that I'm going to call out in this video are actually G position chords or the key of G chords. All right, so I won't be calling out the actual chords for the key that we're in, which is the key of D. I'll be calling out, you know, G position chords. All right, so let's learn these strumming patterns. There are 
kind of four different strumming patterns that you're going to be using in this song. It's it's very unique. Um, and uh, the third strumming pattern is really just going to be all downstrokes. So we won't go over that one. And I'll let you know as we go through the song and the various sections, which strumming pattern we're using for each section. So this is going to be strumming pattern number one. You're going to use this for both verses. Okay. Um, and it's going to it's going to go a little something like this. Let me play it with the actual chords because then you can hear it in context. So this is the chord as we will use it and then we'll kind of break it down. I'll slow it down for you and show you exactly what it is. So one, two, three, four. Very interesting. <laughs> All right, so let's slow that down now. So one, two, three, four, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. And remember, for that strumming pattern number one, um, one of your, your, your basically your second stroke of the strumming pattern, you're going to be hammering on uh, with your index finger on the, the second string there. So you can see it almost adds to the rhythm of the strumming pattern, but I'm not actually strumming that. It's just a hammer on with my index finger. So... And uh, that's just to provide, you know, some similarity to what the album actually has on it to kind of help you guys, you know, re replicate this in your own context. All right, and this is strumming pattern number two. You'll use this strumming pattern on chorus, on the first chorus and the second chorus. So let's go over this one. Again, I'm going to play it in context to help you understand what's going on here with the strumming pattern. So one, two, three, four... All right, so let's slow that down. So one, two, three, four, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. All right, and then this is strumming pattern number four, I guess you could call it because the third strumming pattern would be like just those downstrokes that we're going to be doing for the bridge section. <laughs> so this is strumming pattern number four. You will use this for the final chorus and final bridge. So let's play through this. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, let's slow that down. So one, two, three, four, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. All right, so let's learn these chords. So I have in front of me this chord chart from multitracks.com. I am not going to be following this chord chart to a T. There are a ton of chords in here and you know obviously they're trying to show you exactly what they are playing on the album version of this song. Um, I don't really operate that way. I like to provide you with how I would approach the song if I were leading the song in like a small group setting or it's just me on my acoustic guitar on a Saturday morning, you know, Bible study or Sunday morning church, you know, how would I fill the space and also replicate this song and, and 
provide the same vibe and, and similarities so that it's recognizable. It's kind of the, it's the same song that people have been hearing on the radio, but it's done in a way that is you know applicable for me and my context. And I want to provide that for you guys. You know, there's a lot of YouTube channels out there that'll show you exactly note for note what this what the guitar player's playing and all that kind of stuff. And those guys blow my mind because it's it goes into insane detail. Um, I am more on the practical side of things. How are you as an acoustic guitar player going to approach this song? And I want to make it attainable. You know, I want to make it playable for you guys. So that is my approach. And all that to say, um, you know, I'm not going to be following this chord chart to a T, uh, but I'm going to be giving you guys what you need to pull this song off. So Let's go over this intro. This is the intro to the song, and we are using strumming pattern number one here. So one, two, three, four. I'm leaping over. Straight into verse one there. Now, I know that chord, the G over B flat, is kind of a crazy chord, but a very similar and familiar chord might be a G over B. That's a very familiar chord. So all you're doing is you're taking your index finger and you're sliding it down a, a half step or one fret. Now the trick with this chord is you do not want to let your low E string ring out. Because that's not the chord that you want. <laughs> that is a chord, but it's not the one that you want. So you want to make sure that you're, you're muting you know that low E string with either your index finger, so you're, it's tricky, but you're you're pressing down on the second string with your index finger, and you're also kind of leaning it against the low E, so that it doesn't really ring out. But even then, you can kind of still hear the note of that low E. So what I like to do is I like to kind of um, cover the low E string with my middle finger as I go to that chord. Now, you know, it's a little bit more complicated, a little bit more advanced, but it's gonna give you the, the best kind of sounding chord in this scenario. So yeah, it is tricky because you gotta, you have to jump that, uh, that middle finger from, you know, the second string holding that, that C to hovering over the low E, that low E string. So it's um, it's a little tricky, but um, that's how I would suggest to play that chord. All right, this is verse one. We are using strumming pattern number one here. So one, two, I'm leaping over a thousand fences and running like a child in I'm leaving comfort to chase your presence That wind I felt before I want to feel I'm not So the, on that G over B flat I'm not bound And then it goes straight into the chorus there. Alright, this is chorus number one and we are using strumming pattern number two here. So one, two, three, I'm not bound, not bound to boxes, says the fire of the Holy Ghost, got a hold of me, this wild freedom, nothing can stop it, says the fire of the Holy Ghost, got a hold of me, it might look crazy. Straight into verse number two there. All right, this is verse two, and we are using strumming pattern number one here again. So one, two, three, it might look crazy from the outside, but I was born again to blaze a trail. Some say it's foolish, but I'm doing just fine. Got a history that proves you'll never fail. I'm not bound. And then straight into chorus number two. 
All right, this is chorus number two. Um, I'm using strumming pattern number two here, but in a very delicate way. Um, I'm doing a lot of my strumming kind of up high, so it's gonna be um, like. Kind of like that. Um, and this chorus just has the, the G chord all the way through it. It's it's a very kind of like drum heavy chorus. There's there's no really chord progression. Um, so let's play through this second chorus. So one, two, three. I'm not bound, not bound to boxes. Says the fire of the Holy Ghost, got a hold of me. This wild freedom, nothing can stop. That's the first chord of the next section, which is the interlude. All right, then we go into the interlude. Um, this is when we start doing all downstrokes. Um, so, like that. It's just dun, 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 dun. All downstrokes, nothing fancy. Um, let's go through this interlude. They go through this chord progression one time, and then they start singing the bridge. So these are basically the bridge chords. So interlude, here we go, and Strumming pattern number three, I guess. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. You're breaking off, and then straight into the bridge there. All right, this is bridge number one, and it repeats, so we're gonna do two of them. The second one kind of builds a little bit of energy. So one, two, three. You're breaking off disappointment. Reminding me where my joy is. I'm stepping into something new. Again. You're breaking off disappointment. Reminding me where my joy is. I'm stepping into something new. Two, three, four. And then into bridge two. All right, this is bridge two. And this one repeats as well. So we'll be doing this one twice. Uh, and then the second one kind of builds heavily into the next section, which is the final chorus. So one, two, three. You're throwing off expectations. You're breaking down limitations. I'm stepping into something new. Again. You're throwing off And then into the final chorus. All right, and then this is the final chorus. Uh, and then we're using strumming pattern number four here. So one, two, three. I'm not bound, not bound to boxes. Says the fire of the Holy Ghost got a hold of me. This into the next section, which is the bridge again. All right, then we go into another set of bridges. Uh, the lyrics are kind of changing here and she's taking some of the lyrics from, you know, the chorus sections and, you know, kind of intertwining that with the existing kind of bridge lyrics. It's, it's actually really cool. So um, let's play through this. It's really the final section of the song. So it's two bridge, bridges back to back and then a tag and then the song is over. So let's play through this whole last section. So, and we're still using strumming pattern number four here. So here we go. So one, two, three. I'm breaking off disappointment. I'm digging my heels where joy is. Since the fire of the Holy Ghost got a hold of me. I'm throwing off expectations. I'm kicking down limitations. Since the fire of the Holy Ghost got a hold of me. Yeah, the fire of the Holy Ghost got a hold of me. 
yeah, so no chords there on that tag. Um, it's just all drums. But you know, if you're just by yourself on acoustic guitar, you gotta provide some kind of rhythm there. So that's why I kind of just muted the strings and kept the strumming pattern going through that last tag. All right, we did it. We learned Boxes by Kim Walker Smith, an amazing song, super high energy. I really love this song. If you're doing the song already, or if you're gonna start doing it, comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this song and on this tutorial video. I hope that this video helped you wherever you guys are. Don't forget to keep it crazy. When things are getting crazy, you're getting crazy. That's how it works. And to remind you that you're in the crazy club, don't forget to go to natemice.com where you can stock up on some crazy club merch. All right. And remind yourself that you're kind of part of the club. If you watch this video, that's it. You're in the club. That's all it takes. All right. Welcome to it. I'll see you guys in the next video.